I called for everything. Muhammad. More than three years after the murder of Saudi regime critic Jamal Khashoggi, a suspect has been arrested in Paris. The 33-year-old was picked up by border police at Charles de Gaulle Airport. He's reportedly named on an Interpol list. However, a Saudi official claims the arrest is a case of mistaken identity and that those involved in the murder have been convicted in Saudi Arabia. Khashoggi was killed by a special squad in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October 2018. The detention of the suspect comes three days after French President Emmanuel Macron visited Saudi Arabia. According to U.S. intelligence, Khashoggi's murder was authorized by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. After international pressure, the government in Riyadh admitted killing the journalist, but denied that the heir to the throne had known about it. A man suspected of involvement in the murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi has been arrested at Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport on Tuesday morning. Khalid Al Otaibi was allegedly part of the hit squad present at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul three years ago, where Jamal Khashoggi was killed and had his body dismembered. Al Otaibi is a 33 year old Saudi national, reportedly a former member of the Saudi Royal Guard. He was detained while attempting to board a flight to Riyadh and was traveling under his real name. He is uh, wanted by Turkey, who issued an international warrant back in 2019 and was also among 17 individuals uh, sanctioned by the United States for their suspected role in Hashodi's murder. Uh, he is going to be subject to extradition proceedings to Turkey. He's going to be uh, presented uh, to the Paris public prosecutor's office by Wednesday morning, where he's going to be uh, presented with the warrant. He's going to have then two options. He either accepts the warrant and is placed on a flight to Turkey, or he challenges that warrant, and a judge here in France will decide whether he is taken into custody pending extradition. Annelise Borges in Paris for Euronews.